Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Writer's Wardrobe. I'm your host, Loomis Lutnack. Today, I have a very special guest, a person who doesn't exist solely in my head, but is, in fact, real. I'd like to introduce you to Tova Opachini, otherwise known in the Twitter writing community as Tova Writes Kissing Stories. Welcome, Tova. Yeah, thanks. I'm sorry. Is there a problem? Is this why your wardrobe is such a great deal on Airbnb? Seems like a sneaky way to get me on your show, Lou. I thought I was getting a great vacation package. Yes, well, perhaps it would behoove you next time to read the fine print. I don't even need to write a review. I can tell the public my grievances right now. I'm practically sleeping in your sock drawer and your cat kept climbing on me all night, driving me nuts. You're down to three stars, pal. Cat? What cat? You don't have a cat. No, but we do have spiders of unusual size here, and perhaps it was one of our local wildlife welcoming you to the neighborhood. Two stars! You're down to two stars, Lou. Just keep going and see what happens. Yes. Well, perhaps it's best if we do keep going. With this podcast, I mean. Now, you're a YouTube creator, is that correct? Yes, I have a channel called Professor Pincushion. But you're also a writer. Yes, sometimes I tap on my keyboard enough to produce kissing stories, hence my Twitter name. And you have a book coming out. Well, my debut novel will be released next year, so plenty of time to build everyone's excitement and expectations, including mine. Perhaps you should start now, on this podcast. What's the title of this book coming out next year? Like, favorite, and subscribe, guys. No, no, I'm sorry. It's not that time yet. It's not what time? For us to say that. But you just told me to. No, I didn't. I... let's forget it. What's the name of your book? Like, favorite, and subscribe. What are you doing? I'm doing exactly what you told me to do. Are you suffering from jet lag? Do you not know where you are? You can tell people this at the end of the show. You want me to tell people the title at the end of the show? No, I want you to tell them now. Are you trying to confuse me? I'm being the confusing one. Okay. Let's just take this one step at a time. Do you have a book coming out? Yes. Does this book have a title. Of course. Why would I have a book without a title? Say and complete this sentence. My book is called... My book is called Like, Favorite, and Subscribe. It's a YouTube love story. Ah. Now we're getting somewhere. No, now you're getting somewhere. I've been here the whole time. Anyway, my book starts off with a feud between two creators, a gamer and a crafter, over the plane of polka music. I imagine you have a lot of experience in this? In polka music feuds? Of course. No, I mean with YouTube... Wait, you have experience with polka music feuds? Sure. I have to write what I know, Lou. That sounds interesting. Perhaps you can tell us about this. I can't do that. If I tell people about one polka music feud, why would they read about another polka music feud? I thought I was here to build up excitement and expectations. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about instead? I'm a huge believer in happily ever afters. In fact, I wrote one for you. Do you want to hear it? Of course. Once upon a time, there was a little podcast called The Writer's Wardrobe with a host named Lou who made writerly episodes when he wasn't renting out his closet on Airbnb. One day, he brought on an amazing guest named Tova Wright's Kissing Stories, and they had so much fun, everyone loved their episode and decided they too would support The Writer's Wardrobe on Patreon. Lou got all the Patreon dollars, and he was so grateful, he gave Tova Wright's Kissing Stories half his bounty. The end. That sounds like a happy ending for you. Yeah, those are my favorite kind. Well, on that note, that's all the time we have for today. Tova, if you want to do the sign-off, you can do it now. What am I doing? The sign-off. What? Oh, for heaven's sake, I'll do it. Thank you, listeners, for tuning in. This has been The Writer's Wardrobe.